Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about reproductive behaviors of animals. So we're going to be talking about two main types of reproductive behaviors, the first one being courtship. So courtship can involve quite a few different things. Um, some animals or species choose to do mating dances um, to impress the female. So they dance, and then if the female likes their dance, then they are courted. Um, so another way that uh, reproductive behaviors or courtship works is they sometimes fight with each other in order to fight for the female. So that's another way. Um, but all in all, Courtship is often used to recognize that another organism is of the same species. Um, so another role that courtship plays is that, is that it stimulates both the male and the female, so both are ready to mate at the same time. Um, if they're not both ready to mate, then uh, reproduction will not occur, and then they'll not be able to reproduce and create more of their progeny or create new generations of their species. Um, and then courtship, because of those reasons, is very important to fitness because it determines if whether or not um, this organism is going to be reproductively successful. So the male with the best mating dance or the male who's able to fight the um, best is usually uh, favored in the process of natural selection. The other behavior um, is something that we have mentioned already before, but pheromones. And pheromones have a play a really big role in reproduction, um, but they also play a role in just marking territory and making sure, uh, again, recognition, recognition of the same species. Um, if a dog urinates on an object and another dog comes over, then they know that that territory has already been claimed because they recognize that smell. But pheromones are essentially just chemicals um, produced by one animal to influence the behavior of another animal. They don't have to be animals, they can just be organisms, but they're likely in the same uh, species in order for those pheromones to have an effect. That's why we're not attracted to like squirrel pheromones, that'd be kind of weird. Um, we're attracted to other human pheromones, so a lot of uh, the role that pheromones play in reproduction is that we're just really attracted to good smells. Um, again, I've mentioned this before, but if uh, the reason that a lot of people are always like, or put so much importance in, oh, that guy smells really good, is because um, in our evolutionary roots, we put a lot of value in smell. And that is one very big reason why pheromones become very, very important um, in this process in order to represent attraction and um, so that the grounds for mating and uh, for reproduction can be set.